In the heart of a sprawling city, beneath the bustling streets, lay an intricate maze of sewers. In an unfortunate twist of fate, a careless stoner had once discarded cannabis seeds down a manhole, never realizing the horrors that would soon grow from that simple act of carelessness. Unbeknownst to the city above, the seeds found nourishment in the darkness, and with every drop of water that trickled through the tunnels, the plants thrived. Their roots spread like sinister fingers, entwining with the city's very foundation, feeding on the filth and darkness that surrounded them. One fateful day, a laid-back and slightly eccentric sewer worker named Tommy stumbled upon the hidden garden of cannabis while on his daily rounds. His eyes widened in disbelief as he beheld the lush greenery that should never have been in such a place. Holy smokes! What do we have here? Tommy exclaimed, a mixture of astonishment and amusement dancing across his face. Despite the eerie atmosphere of the sewers, he couldn't resist the temptation of a potential fortune. With a mischievous grin, he harvested the mature cannabis plants and, after careful consideration, decided to take them to the surface world. Unaware of the plant's malevolence, Tommy began selling the cannabis to eager customers around the city. The first few days seemed innocent enough, with people experiencing a laid-back, carefree high. But as the days turned into weeks, something sinister started to emerge. At first, the stoners who smoked the tainted cannabis merely felt more relaxed than usual. But soon, a peculiar lethargy took hold of them, and their ambitions waned into oblivion. They became trapped in a haze of indolence, their lives spiraling into a pit of laziness and apathy. As word spread about the potent cannabis Tommy was selling, the demand skyrocketed. The entire city seemed to fall under the spell of the cursed plants, and people flocked to Tommy's secret stash, like moths to a flame. Man, this stuff is something else, one of the customers remarked, a lazy grin spreading across his face. I feel like I could lie here forever and never move again. Tommy's sales soared, and he reveled in his newfound success, oblivious to the sinister effects his product was having on the city. But as the laziness spread like a contagion, the city descended into chaos. People neglected their work, schools were abandoned, and the streets became littered with slumbering bodies. The once vibrant city now resembled a ghost town its inhabitants lost in a perpetual haze of indolence. Tommy's amusement turned to concern as he witnessed the devastation caused by his unwittingly malevolent business. He knew he had to put an end to this madness and undo the harm he had unknowingly unleashed. Determined to break the curse, Tommy ventured back into the sewers, his heart pounding with trepidation. As he approached the overgrown garden of cannabis, he could feel an ominous presence lurking in the shadows. What have I done? He muttered, his voice tinged with remorse. But as he reached for the cursed plants, the very ground beneath him seemed to tremble. The roots of the cannabis writhed like serpents, lashing out with a sinister sentience, defending their unholy territory. Tommy's heart raced as he fought against the living vines, determined to put an end to the chaos he had caused. With a final surge of strength and the help of a nearby shovel, he managed to sever the roots of the cursed plants. As the plants withered and died, the curse was broken. The city slowly began to awaken from its indolent stupor, and people, once again filled with purpose and ambition, emerged from their languid states. Tawny, hailed as a hero, had learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of his actions. He used his newfound wisdom to spread awareness about the dangers of the cursed cannabis, cautioning others about the perils of indulging in such tainted pleasures. And thus, the city emerged from its haze, the laughter of the stoners mingling with the relieved sighs of those who had escaped the clutches of the cursed plants. The tale served as a cautionary reminder that even in the pursuit of humor and relaxation, one must be mindful of the potential horrors that can arise from the depths of negligence.